welcome Manny Rabina, who's going to talk to us a little bit today about one-on-one -on -one time with the kids. So, I think a lot of us think if we are at home with the child, that counts as quality time. It doesn't necessarily, it's not one-on-one -on -one time, you're not focused. So let's talk a little bit about what happens if kids are not getting one-on-one -on -one time. Well, this is it. You know, one of the first things I mention when I meet with a client and they may have issues, big issues happening is, how much one-on-one -on -one time are you doing? And they'll start thinking, oh, just had a baby, just moved house, got the cooking to do, and sometimes it takes a bit of a back shelf. Well, let me tell you, when you're not spending one-on-one -on -one with your child, quite often you will pay for it dearly in so many ways. Okay, how do um, they act then? Well, you know what? A lot of it can be bought, uh, you know, whining. Mm. Okay, whining. Just generally acting up. Mm -hmm. Transitions. You may not think this, but maybe you've got to transition your baby from a crib to the bed. Believe it or not, but having that one-on-one -on -one will actually make things like that much easier. Mm. You're, you're connecting more with your child when you're doing one-on-one. -on -one. I think sometimes you get caught up, so you're forgiven. I gotta do the cooking, I gotta run the vacuum round. And, and yeah. you think if your child is playing happy, everything's okay, well it's not. They need that one-on-one, -on -one. you know, they just need it. And sort of, and every, every stage is different, like, you know, you've got a, an older child down here, for example. It, you don't have to get tons of stuff out. She's helping mom do the laundry. Right. You know, they're folding, they're pairing socks up, so they're gonna have a nice chat. And it, we're talking about 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. Yeah. If you haven't got a whole 30 minutes to take out your day, there's always something you can do. Bring her into your day, get her doing the chores. So I'm all for child slavery. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, mom, just kidding. A couple of things get about child labor. Get them involved labor. In the pardon? I know I do get my kids involved in the laundry and then it just takes me three times as long to get it done. Yes, yeah. Because well, <laughs> yeah. I have to refold everything. Yeah. But they do like, especially Eva, she likes to just buzz around. Yes. She's She's one of those kids who just wants to be around and do stuff with you, whereas Sydney wants an activity. And it makes sense to do it. And I don't think about it at the time, but you're right, they're better for it. Because then they'll go off and play with each other quite happily. Do you know what you can find is if your kids are acting up all day, just stop what you're doing, sit down for 10 minutes, no devices, no phone, no nothing, mm -hmm. and give them 10 minutes of your attention, it changes the whole mindset of the child. Right. Suddenly he becomes happy, he's no longer grumpy, and he so appreciates that the fact that you're giving him that unavoided, undivided attention, and that's what it's all about. It is absolutely necessary. I yeah. just want to mention that what you're talking about is not sitting and having two hours of, you know, one-on-one no. -on -one time. I think it's really fair that you say, Try and set aside 10 times in 10 minutes, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening to start. Yeah, do you know what? That's it, doable. It, yeah, absolutely. Moms tell me all the time, you know, they'll say to me, find it very difficult doing one on one. Now, I understand that because, you know, sometimes getting onto the level of your child is not easy to sit there. It can be tedious yeah. and it can be a strain. So, we're talking about shorter things and very, very simple things like doing the laundry, building blocks. We have a little tea set going on here, you right. know? Let's have a cup of tea together and, you know, put some, some liquid in there if you want to put the Cheerios in, but just give in your child that little time yeah. for undivided attention for a tea set. You know, and getting down there on her level shows her that you really care and that interaction is just, you know, it's just very important. You said, you mentioned it being tedious and you know, the, the mother here that's doing the tea game, props to you. Yes. <laughs> we do a lot of tea at home. Yeah. We do a lot of restaurant service and yes. it's funny because the script is very much the same for the whole time I'm down there at the table. Yes, yes. So that's the thing. You, go with it. You gotta go with go it. Go with it. And, and what I do as well is, because sometimes when we're playing with the fake tea, I actually get start getting hungry. I want real food. There you go. So then I'll go to the kitchen. I'll get real food, and I'll be Bring happily it. munching away on snacks while they're doing a whole you game see? right around me. So then right? you can have those sneaky snacks poured in. Also, absolutely. But the thing, you you shouldn't have your phone with you, should no. you? No. Turn those devices off. I mean, the phone rings. Let it ring. No television. We're talking about really that one-on-one -on -one interaction. Yeah. Now, now we have Kieran over here who's got hi, buddy. <laughs> Heard his name. You know he's. He's making, he's making cookies. Well, let me tell you, Tracy, you will not find any of those ingredients in my house for baking cookies, because I just don't bake, I've got to be honest. Yeah. And what I'm saying is, you haven't got to get the flour out and the butter, you haven't got to get all that out. This is, you know, the cookie dough, the ready-made cookie dough. So let the kids make the cookies with that, they're going to love. Look at that, that is one great cookie he's got going on there. That's a big cookie, buddy. But you know, get the cookie cutters out, let him get creative with it, right. let him make balls and everything. 
It's all, again, just one-on-one, -on -one, and it's fast and easy if you're just making the, the ready dough stuff, you know? And if you're like me, you know, into the flour and everything, and, yeah. and that's just me, I can't bake. Right. I can make a mean leg of lamb, but I can't bake cookies. That's just what it is. So I'm going to go and do that with the kids, you know? I think what's good about that is it, it isn't about making it from scratch. You've got 10 minutes with them. You can, you can get the cookies together, and it's a fun activity, and you spend some time one-on-one, -on -one eye contact. Same with reading. Yeah. So we know reading, literacy, so important for them in terms of their developmental stages, but it's the one-on-one -on -one time that's yeah. so important oh, as yeah. well. It's, it's not just about the book. It's about them sitting on your knee or sitting beside you and and having that closeness with you yeah. like that's adorable you're gonna find that your relationship with your child develops quite differently when you start putting more into one-on-one a, a -on -one. right like you know just set aside that little time per day yes. and you're gonna see a change in your relationship you really will now you, do you things know? happen when you start to get down on their level and you can be eye to eye with them like this because oh, this absolutely. is my favorite place to be at home let me tell you yeah. whether there's blocks or not I like the ground if I'm at your house and I'm sitting on the ground instead of the sofa this is why <laughs> I spend a lot of time on the ground, and that's what you do when you have yeah. kids, right, Mom? All the time, all the time. How old are you, miss? Six. Six years old. I'm so happy you're here. You're such a good folder. Can I borrow you on Saturdays? <laughs> yeah. No, just for, just for a couple house. hours. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much, Nanny Rabina, for the tips. Get down and have some fun with your kids today.